All right, guys, on this one, I'm going to be showing you uh, my scrim scarf. I just got this from uh, Merry Old England today. Uh, basically, the reason why I know about this is because about a year ago, I was watching the movie A Bridge Too Far, and I noticed all the British paratroopers had this cool, like, uh, green and, uh, I guess, like, uh, black uh, camo scarf around their necks and I was like whoa that's uh pretty cool because you know everyone's used to uh, all the soldiers wearing schmogs and stuff nowadays so I was like wow they were doing kind of the same thing back then in World War II so uh, yeah then I kind of forgot about it I was like I don't even know what to call this thing to look it up as and um then about a month ago, when I was playing uh, Sniper Elite V2, I noticed the main character, Carl Fairburn, was wearing the same thing around his neck. So I was like, oh shit, okay. So I went on Yahoo Images and uh, typed in British Paratrooper Scarf World War II. And uh, a bunch of pictures came up and stuff, so I was like, oh, okay. And uh, one of the pictures said scrim scarf, so I was like, oh, is that what you call it? So I typed in uh, scrim scarf for sale, and uh, a website came up called soldierfortune.com, and it's a British website. I've actually been there a couple of times before, but I never bought anything, I guess, because uh, everything there was in, well, it's all everything's priced in uh, British pounds, so... Having to convert that in my head would kind of be a pain in the ass, or, uh, you know, having to go up and look at a uh, converter to uh, a dollar to pound converter and all that stuff, and I was just like, yeah, screw it. But I did it for this, and uh, it was actually pretty cheap. It was only like eight pounds, but shipping, shipping was about seven, so altogether about 15 British pounds. Let me open it now. I think that came out to like $23 American, so it's not too bad. Got here pretty fast, too. I think it only took about 10 days, so pretty good. Whew. Interesting smell. Might have to wash this before wearing it, but, uh, it's, you know, it's very light. I think it's 100% cotton. Pretty cool design. And I think it's a... Yeah, I'd probably say that's about, oh, it's, that's double side. I think it's supposed to be about a square meter, I believe, so it's pretty big. But one cool thing is, one side's camo, and the other side is this OD, so whichever one you want it to be. But, uh, yeah, and the thing that separates it from uh, the schmog is, it is see-through. Now the cool thing about that is, you know, say you got a helmet on, oh, you can just, you know, throw this over your helmet and you got camo. Breaks up your silhouette and everything. So it's uh, pretty badass. And you know anything from World War II is pretty cool, so. Yeah, basically they were just not really sure how to do it, but they would just, you know, tie it up like a normal scarf. You know, put it, I guess let's pretend this shirt is a BDU or whatever. You know, they would just, uh, you know, stick it down in there, tie it, you know, button it back up, and boom. I mean, you can just take it out, use it, uh, cover your mouth. Wrap it around your head, you know, throw it over your helmet, or, uh, you know, wrap it around your, a wound. I mean, they were using this. Yeah, in the book, uh, Cornelius Vine talks about them using these. He called them schmocks in the book, though. I mean, I don't really know the difference. But, yeah, he, they were, like, they would, like, cut this in half, wrap it around their shoes, like, uh, on the bottom of their shoes, because there was so much blood on the floor and stuff that uh, 
they would use this on their shoes to keep from slipping and sliding everywhere. So, yeah, very cool piece of equipment. Very, very cool. Definitely glad I got this. So, uh, yeah, uh, definitely check out the website, Soldier of Fortune. Might be soldiersoffortune.com. You're the one. But, uh, yeah, they got a bunch of World War One, World War Two stuff. So, yeah, check it out.